Can adverts really be empowering if they're just trying to flog us sanitary towels? And that's a reference to the fact that this is an always advert. Let's talk to Anne-Marie Tomchat from BBC Trending about this. I mean, it's not the first time I've seen this, Anne-Marie, where a company is a campaigning on an issue that I guess a lot of us would support, but at the same time is running an advert. Yeah, so what's happening here is that this is being presented in a way that doesn't necessarily look like an ad straight away. So it's only about 1 minute 25 seconds in when you watch this like a girl ad that you realise it's an ad at all and that always is mentioned. But what it's doing is it's tapping into a conversation or a debate that's already huge online and for example with this one it's the the debate about gender equality which is huge we've seen some massive hashtags over the past year for example not your Asian sidekick or yes all women where issues about gender equality are being debated uh, online. It reminds me of discussions we've had about the difference between public and private online and to a certain generation that doesn't really mean anything. I wonder if the difference between a campaign and an ad really means anything to people anymore. Well it's, it's been presented in a very candid way and uh, the uh, people in it uh, don't necessarily look like actors straight away but the uh, audience online on social media is very very discerning and I, I think back to the Pantene ad uh, back last year, right. a similar ad where um, women and men were shown in the workplace in different settings, different words attached to them to show about how they're perceived and that it got a huge well. endorsement online and a big debate around it. Good to speak to you, Emery. Soda Rusty there. Thank you very much to all of you for watching. We're back tomorrow. Bye-bye.